All right, how's it going, everyone? So today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, make a house drum beat. Um, right now we're sitting here and we have the uh, just default Ableton screen um, that you'll have as soon as you turn on uh, Ableton 8. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just delete this audio uh, channel because we won't be using it today. Um, and so what we need to do to make a drum beat, first of all, is we need to set up a drum rack, which you can do by getting what I do is I just use all my own samples um, and th these are the two that I've been using lately um, I had to reformat recently so I used to have more but um, so we're just gonna go ahead and use my default uh, my default drum kit and so um, in order to set it up all you have to do is just take uh, the drum rack and then just drag it here and then just drag your drum samples over these spaces so it's not too hard to do um, so we're going to be making a house beat today so what we need to do is create a new uh, track and then uh, let's get to it so a house beat is mostly uh, defined by its four on the floor um, setup so basically what that means is it has a uh, kick beat every uh, quarter note like this so on the uh, one the two the three and the four you're gonna have um, your kick beat so it'll sound something like this. Okay, that's pretty boring. So first of all, what we need to do is drag out all these tracks so that way the whole sample plays so it sounds much more rich. So take a listen to it now. So now you're getting that reverb sound and it's much better. So in order to make it a little bit more punchy, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add on a second drum kick. And I'm going to listen to my tracks by hitting this little uh, headphone button here. And then uh, see which one I want to use. That's pretty punchy. So let's go ahead and uh, layer this drum track over the rest of them. And what we're going to do is not drag them out all the way, but we're going to drag them out halfway. So now it'll sound like this. So now we have that real punchy four on the floor. So now, um, to add on to the beat, we need to add in our snares or claps, which um, go on the uh, second quarter note and the th fourth quarter note. So um, let me listen to my snares and see what we have. Now that's a real punchy one. So let's go ahead and we'll make this drum be real punchy. So we got that. And we'll drag it out by a little bit. Boop. Cool. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and add a clap onto it, too. So it gives it just a little bit extra punch. But we're going to only have just a really short clap. So let's take a listen to the beat now. All right. So it's sounding a little bit more like a house song. Um, this is this beats this drum is a little too punchy for me though, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take these notes and I'm gonna move them up to a little bit more of a bassy kick, so that way um, if you're like listening to it with a subwoofer, you're gonna hear the punch a little bit deeper. So let's listen to it now. All right, so that that uh, snare is definitely overpowering the rest of the sound, so we're just gonna go in and make it a little bit more quiet and see how this goes now. There we go. So now we have pretty much this is the basic uh, look of how you're going to want every, like one of your house beats to look. Or, I mean, not every, but this is a pretty generic house beat, four on the floor. You can dance to it, you can nod your head to it. So, um, and just to finish it off a little bit, let's just add a couple little hi hats in. And uh, here, I'm going to duplicate this, and I'm going to do it by hitting Command D. Um, and I'm going to add in some hi-hats and then see if we can make a little bit of a progression. So this hi-hat seems to make sense. So I'm going to do it every other every other uh, note is going to be hi-hat. So let's check this out. So maybe you're doing this for the intro and then maybe you have a whoosh sound or something like that. And then... All right, there you go. So that's how you make a uh, house beat, and uh, hopefully this helped you. If uh, this video did help you, please uh, give it a thumbs up, 
and uh, subscribe because I'll be putting out more videos soon. Thanks.